So today we're gonna to learn how to build a landing page with lead pages. In this tutorial video, I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step -step everything you need to know to create a landing page like this one that we're using for our free personal branding course. Honestly, we've been using lead pages for about a year now and it's helped us grow our email list from next to nothing to over 25,000 subscribers today. So to get started, I'd recommend signing up for a free trial. I'll put a link down below in the description. This is our affiliate link, so we may earn a small commission at no extra cost to you. With that said, why don't we hop on the computer and get started. When you sign into your lead pages account, it's gonna look something like this and click on create new landing page. The nice thing is here, you can sort by types of landing pages and it's gonna keep it organized by conversion rate. And so these are some of the highest converting landing pages that they have. The one that we're gonna to create today is this one. And so, you know, you can see, check out the template and then select use this template. It's gonna create it for you really quick, give it a name. So to test page, continue. Okay, and so let's just start at the top and, and work our way down to get everything created. And so this is text instead of having an actual logo image. Um, so what we can do is actually just get rid of this section and then in here we want to if we go to here widgets image and then we can just drag this image right here and then if we go to this right here um, you could actually go to upload and upload an image so let's just do that so the figco logo white okay insert and there you go and then so what we wanna do here again, so if we go to style, we wanna say like how much of the width or the height that we wanna take up. And then if we shrink this down, you're gonna see it makes the logo much smaller. I think, you know, we don't wanna make this too big, something like that probably. And then obviously you could choose to have it aligned left or right, but I think I like it right here in the center. You know, another thing you'll see is there's all the spacing up here. And so what you might wanna do here is go to edit section settings, and then you can see right here is that there's padding along the top. And so if I get rid of that, you'll see that now it's, the logo is much higher to the top up here. Okay, so step one, our logo's there. The next thing we wanna do is if we just go to styles for the page, you'll see this background right here for the page background. And so the first thing I wanna do is get rid of that. And then so you can see, okay, now it's just, the whole background just gonna be white. We don't necessarily want that either. And then so if we click on colors, the one thing you can do with lead pages is save your brand colors. And so let's make the entire background our blue. Okay, so now that we have that, we may wanna update potentially one of these sections to be somewhat similar to what we had before. And then so we could edit these section settings and you can see you can set a background for you know, just this particular section now. And so let's add an image here, upload, and then we have a background. Insert, okay. So now you see the top section is just the normal, the background of the whole landing page, as well as down at the bottom here. Um, while we're here, we might as well update this. Okay, then the next thing, so the this image to be the image for our personal branding course. And so again, go to upload image, and we have the cover image. So if you're curious how I made this image, I'll put a link to up above our Canva tutorial video um, that'll walk you through step-by-step -step how to create images like this one. There you go. And then, you know, with any of the images and other things, there's always this style function. As an example, let's say you wanted to add rounded corners to the image. And there you go with that. Okay, so now let's start updating all of the text. Um, so I have this all saved over here in, in a separate uh, Word document. Um, so start building your personal brand today. Start building your personal brand today. And then so let's change this font. Let's highlight all of it. Change font to, to Open Sans. 
and then let's reduce the size slightly so it doesn't take up quite so much room. Start building your personal brand today. And then the second line, free step-by-step -step email course. Okay, and then again, update this font to Open Sans. Open Sans, okay. Then we have this text here. And paste this in. And then now I want to make these ones actually the bulleted list. Okay. Let's get rid of those spaces. Okay. So like that, get rid of that line, something like that. And then now again, let's let's update this for the right font. Open sans. And then again, so if, so we've got all that text, and then if we wanted to actually add another section, so what we could do here, so if we go to widgets, text, I could just drag another section of text right here. So input your text there, what do we wanna say? Start building, sign up to start building your personal brand. Maybe make that italic again. And then what do we want the button to say? Get started today. And then maybe make this in cap lock. So get started today. And then again, um, let's change the font to Open Sans. There's that. Okay. And then so this is an R green. So let's go to. Oops. So if we we can update this right here. And then so you see it has our brand color saved for here's our green. Okay, and then I guess one of the other things while we're on this, what we can do is if we click on style, you can see if you want circular, maybe just rounded, and so you can make it, you can make it less of a of a, the the ends of it kind of circle, and this just has slightly curved edges like this, which I think I like a little bit better. And then so we've got our logo, we've got the image, we've got all the text. So that's pretty much all for this piece of the design of it. And then what we want to do next is so we have, we want to edit the pop-up event. So we had some text to put in here that we want to update. So uh, ready to build your brand. And so, and then I, let, this is not our color. Use our blue. And then we wanna, we can edit this text to say, just get started. And then again, let's change the font. Let's change the style to rounded, like this again, okay. So if we edit integrations would be the next step. And so how it's set up right now is you're gonna get an email when people sign up um, we use ConvertKit for all of our email marketing, so I actually want to connect ConvertKit here. And so I can select, I've already connected ConvertKit previously. I can select ConvertKit, then it wants to know, you know, what's the destination. So this would be our personal branding form for the landing page. Okay, so now every time someone signs up here, it's going to send it to that place on ConvertKit. And then again, do we want to just select, just collect the email or something else? And so, you know, normally what we do is first name and email. And so let's select first name, done. And then two, I usually, I would ask for their name and then their email, similar to this. And then if we go to action, so if someone signs up, do they stay on this page? Do they, do you want to send them to some external page? Um, you can create actually a landing page. So like, uh, you know, we have a thank you page, um, personal brand thank you page, or if you don't want to go through and create a whole nother page, you can just go to the, the default lead pages thank you page. Also, if you have a lead magnet, so if you had a PDF guide or something you wanted to send, you could actually set that up within lead pages. We're going to do that all within ConvertKit, so we're not going to do anything here. Save that. Um, looks like I did not update this color. And so again, let's make the button our green. So that's a lot of the visual stuff that you see right now. There's a couple other things that I want to go over in the settings that I don't want you to forget. And so now what sure want to make sure is, hey, is there a, there a title here that I want? So personal 
brand or so free personal branding course. You know, I could add a longer description here. For social, one of the things, so this is the other image that I created in the Canva tutorial video that you could watch that's linked above if you want. So basically, you know, obviously if you share something on social media, the image is dimension similar to this, which is nowhere near what these dimensions are. And so I created a separate image for that. And so what we can do is upload it here. Ooh, not in text, it's right here. Social share image. Okay, insert. Okay, so now the image is gonna look like this if someone were to share this on say Facebook or Twitter. So some of these things usually are gonna be the same as what you put in for SEO if you go in and update some of this stuff. One last thing that I almost forgot is within settings and go to analytics. And right here is where you can add your Google Analytics tracking code. And then you can add within the, the head, for example, your Facebook pixels and other things to make sure you're, you're tracking everything within lead pages. Um, in styles for the entire page, one of the things that I forgot to mention, so favicon. So right now you can see like it's, it's the lead pages favicon right here. But if you want to update one for your brand, you can go to choose image. And it's gonna go through all the image you have saved that are either 32 by 32 or 16 by 16. And so we can select this, insert. Okay, now it has our favicon saved. And so, you know, that's that's really it. You got the, the page layout like this. Obviously, if you wanted to, to make more room for text, you could move, you can basically move this section over and move, have this section be slightly smaller. You know, the, the email integration is all set up. And now, so the last step would be to publish your landing page. So if you hit publish, you can connect the domain like this, or you pick the domain, which would be, you know, lead pages domain. So ours is the figco.lpages.co, or you can set up a subdomain with a domain that you own. And so this could be YouTube test page. And then, so if I go and publish this, okay. And so I can copy this link, open a new tab, and there is our landing page. So get started. Here's the pop-up here that I can sign up that is all integrated with ConvertKit. Also, you'll see up here, this is what I had wrote in for the title, free personal branding course, and it has our favicon um, on the top of the page as well. Okay, step-by-step, step, how to create a landing page with lead pages. If you wanna learn how to create graphics like the two that I showed you with the ebook cover and the social sharing image, I'd encourage you to check out our Canva tutorial video I'll link to right here. Also, if you wanna learn more about email marketing, check out our playlist right here. Until next time, bye-bye.